Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. It is Cooking with Benedicta in Taste Buds Kitchen. Today I'll be doing a very quick video. I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your cocoa yam paste. This video was actually up on my YouTube channel but for whatever reason I just can't find it. Okay, maybe I mistakenly deleted it, I don't know. But if you've watched my uh, video of cooking Anambra bitter leaf soup, and you've also watched my video of cooking Ofe Aura, you will know the importance of learning how to prepare your cocoa yam paste using cocoa yam, uh, boiled cocoa yam and some palm oil. You can see my mutter and pistol here is all set to be uh, it's all set to be used in the pounding of this cocoa yam. So I'm going to be cutting this cocoa yam. But before I do that, I want to show you what the cocoa yam looks in its natural state. Now note, we have two different types of cocoa yam in this part of the world. That is in Nigeria. We have the edible cocoa yam, uh, which is slightly bigger than this in size. And it is, it is uh, less starchy. It does not have the amount of starch that this tiny furry cocoa yams have okay uh this is we're in the raining season now so you might not be able to see the furs but i don't know if you look closely you'll see the furs so this furry little cocoa yam is more starchy it's more sticky thereby helping our soups to have a beautiful texture and to have a beautiful viscosity this cocoa yam helps in the binding together of our ofe oha and beta leaf soup. I'm also going to be preparing, um, what do you call it, okaze soup and a lot of soups from the eastern part of Nigeria. And you're going to see the different ways we're going to be incorporating our cocoa yam paste. We're going to be using this cocoa yam in the preparation of different types of soups from the eastern part of Nigeria. So I'll say it is mandatory that you learn how to prepare your cocoa yam paste. And when I'm done with this video, I'm also going to show you how best to preserve your leftover cocoa yam paste. Okay? So now let's get on with the cooking. Now you've seen what the cocoa yam looks like in its natural state. I'm going to show you how to cut this up, cook it, and then we'll come back to use the mutter and pestle. Stay tuned. So this is our furry little cocoa yams. <laughs> oh God, my furry animals. <laughs> Reminds me of a cartoon. So now, remember this cocoa yam is furry. So you can identify this when you see it in the marketplace. So you're gonna do this. The reason why I'm cutting this is to enable it to pop out when it's all cooked. You're gonna use your knife and get rid of some of the furs. Okay, can you see this? Okay, so we're gonna throw it into the pot and we're gonna do the same thing here until we are done with all the cocoa yams. I'm used to cutting things with my hands, but you can also use your cutting board. I just wanna show you guys up close what the furs look like. Okay. So we're gonna be doing this until we're done with all the cocoa yams. And then we're gonna keep doing this. Look at all that for coming up, okay? Now, if you're living in the United Kingdom or you're living in the States and you do not have um, access to getting those cocoa yams from the Asian stores, you might as well use the regular cocoa yams the edible ones that we eat with palm oil here in the eastern part of Nigeria. We eat those cocoa yams roasted with palm oil and a bit of pepper and a pinch of salt. It's very delicious, trust me. So in the absence of these furry ones that are very sticky, you can also pound the ones that are not so sticky. That is if you are not living in Nigeria. I hear some people go as far as using all-purpose flour in the thickening of their oha soup. Well, that is a bit extreme, but 
what can I say? Desperate measures for desperate times. So you see? So we're gonna do this until we are done with everything. My furry little friends. Um, boiling in just a pot of water no salt addition nothing just tap water so we're going to let this boil until the coca yam is soft then we're going to move it over to the mutter and pistol and we'll pound it so let's quickly check on our boiling pot and see like when it's all cooked. The starchy nature of the cookie yam starts bubbling over into the pot. So when you see your water this bubbly and your cookie yam is all very soft and tender, it is ready to be pounded. So the cookie yam is all ready. I'm going to throw out this hot water in here. I'm going to pour in some cold tap water to enable me pop the cookie yam out of its skin. Okay, it's very easy. You're going to watch me do it now. And cookie yam is all set. I poured in some tap water. So now it's easy for me to pop. So I'm going to pop this into the mortar and pistol. So easy. See? See how sticky, slimy it is. So this is what you keep doing until you're done popping. See, I'm just gonna pop this one, it's, it's kind of soft. Watch me, it's very easy. Easy peasy. Popped out of its shell. So this is what we're going to do until we are done with all the cocoa yams. See that? Easy peasy. Pop it out of its skin. Pop it out. Doop. Easy peasy. Pop it out of its skin. Pop it out of its skin. Can you see? It's just coming off easily. See?
So guys, this is how you prepare your cocoa yam paste using palm oil and freshly pounded cocoa yam. Now, I do not want to use my cocoa yam today. I am not making any soup requiring the use of cocoa yam paste. So I'm just gonna scoop this into a plastic plate and then I'll put this in my freezer until whenever I need it. This can keep in your refrigerator for about for about a month. You can refrigerate this in your freezer for about three to four weeks and then bring it out to use whenever you are in need of cocoa yam. So guys, that's the end of our video. I'm just going to scoop this into this plastic plate and then I'll put this in our freezer. pop this into my freezer and this can keep for three to four weeks so this is my pounded cocoa yam paste not ready to use it right now so i'm just gonna do this i'm gonna put this right here in the freezer compartment and this can keep for about three to four weeks bring it out whenever you need to use it to cook your ofora or your soup or any soup requiring the use of pounded cocoa yam and palm oil paste. So thank you guys for watching and it's bye bye from Taste Buds and Jimmy.